Hey guys, this is Shane here, Echo Soundworks. In this video, we'll take a quick look at the newest features that have been added to FabFilter Pro Q3. All right, so that's probably one of the shorter intros I've ever done. So we're just gonna dive right into a beat that I made for this video, and we're gonna kind of mix this beat, showcasing the new features in FabFilter Pro Q3. So let's have a quick listen. All right, so the first sound that we're gonna be messing around with is this kind of bright toy bell sound that you just heard. So the first new feature that you probably wanna know about, I think that's gonna excite a lot of people, is the addition of dynamic equalization. Now the great thing about how FabFilter pulled this off is it doesn't sacrifice or change your workflow if you're used to FabFilter Pro Q2, which is incredible to think about having access to dynamic EQ without having to learn a bunch of new features. So for any of you guys out there who don't know a lot about dynamic EQ, I'll quickly give you a really basic definition just, just so we're all on the same page. So you can think of dynamic EQ as like an equalization or an EQ crossed blended with a multiband compressor. So basically you can load up a curve type in the EQ and you can have it expand or reduce frequencies that cross, that cross a threshold. So it's kind of like EQ and multiband compression together. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up this bell sound a little bit using some dynamic EQ. So I'm gonna go into this range of about 1500 Hertz and we are going to create a bell curve and I'm gonna reduce it. So right now, this would just be a static reduction, right? So now what I can do though, is I can activate, I can turn this curve into a dynamic EQ. And there's a couple ways to do it. You can right click on the curve and you can select make dynamic or let's undo that or you can just go down to the gain knob and you'll notice that if i hover over the top of the gain knob that band above the actual knob turns red and you can click down to create a reduction or up to create expansion and you can see i'm moving up to the, to the right and down to the left and now we've activated the dynamic eq so now if i hit play Now by default, it's set to auto mode, which I've probably tried it out on anywhere from about eight to 10 different sources, and it works more often than not. But if you want the actual control to be able to set that threshold, click on the auto, and then you can move this slider for the band's threshold to make it more or less sensitive. All right, so while we're working on this bell sound, let's check out another new feature. It's not probably the sexiest feature that's been added, but I think it's gonna benefit a lot of producers, a lot of mix engineers out there. So if you double click on the left or right hand side of Pro Q3, just like with Pro Q2, you'll activate a low cut and a high cut respectively. Well, you have some new, you have a new slope, a brick wall slope for both the high and the low. So if we go and select brick wall for this, we can see how intense the attenuation is gonna be. Now in Pro Q2, the most intense slope you get was 96 decibels per octave, which is still pretty darn, <laughs> it's pretty aggressive, but now we can get even more aggressive with it. Right, so now the sound is cleaned up. I like how it sounds a lot more. So let's go check out the, uh, let's pull up an uh, instance of our EQ on an 808. So another great enhancement, it's not a complete new feature, but it's an enhancement to an established feature in Pro Q3 is, the Spectrum Grab can now give you some nice helpful tool tips and some call outs basically on some resonant frequencies. So if you guys didn't use the Spectrum Grab in Pro Q2, you can go to the pre and post and make sure you have the Spectrum Grab. Uh, the Spectrum Grab is enabled. It's this little purple icon here. And when you have that enabled and you hit play and you hover under your curves, you'll see the Spectrum turn purple. Check us out. Well, now with version three, you now get these helpful little call out and, and you can see the actual frequency saying, okay, this is a pretty a big resonance boost here and there. And that can give you some great insight for, well, do you want to cut? Do you want to boost? Do you want to apply some dynamic EQ? So the spectrum grab got a little bit of a facelift and I think it's gonna be really helpful in the long run. All right, so let's check out the next feature on one of our synth keys here. So I'm gonna load up the trap key patch right here. zero out the EQ. So with FabFilter Pro Q3, you now have the ability, the, 
the option to have per band stereo channel selection. So what does that mean? Well, in FabFilter Pro Q2, if you wanted to do mid side or left and right, you'd have to actually choose that option at the bottom. So I'll pull up FabFilter Pro Q2. So you can see if I want to do left, right, or mid side. So if I create a node, create a band here, and I want this, I can right click and stereo placement. It can be left, right, or stereo. Or if I change it to mid side, I can now choose mid side or stereo. Well, with FabFilter Pro Q3, you don't have to go through the different modes. You have per band control of that. So I could create a band here and we could do left. I could create another band here and we could do right. I could create another band here and we could do mid, right? Which is incredible because uh, to my knowledge, I don't think there's another EQ that does this, but there are certain instances where I've, I've wanted to have left, right and mid side processing. And to do that with other EQs, you're gonna have to, and even Fat Filter Pro Q2, you'd have to load up two instances of it and have one set to mid side, one set to left, right. So now you have the option to control this independently, which is really cool. All right, so let's go back to our 808 to check out this next feature. So we also have, all right, so this next feature I have already fallen in love with. So Fat Filter Pro Q3, can now talk to other instances of FabFilter Pro Q3 in your mix and pull up the spectrum from any other instance. So what that means is when you're mixing elements in a mix, say like the 808 and the kick, things that inherently have masking issues, you can see the spectrum of each element in one instance of the plugin. So this is the EQ on my kick. I haven't done anything to it yet. And the spectrum that, and the spectrum that you see when I hit play, that's simply just the spectrum for this kick. Well, I can go down to our analyzer tab, I can click it, and I can now choose any other instance. If I hit play, we'll actually see a very small readout kind of showing you the, the spectrum of the different instances in the mix. So I'm concerned with our 808, so I'm gonna select it, it will turn yellow, and if I hit play, we're gonna see two spectrum analyzers, there's two spectrum graphs. We're gonna see the one for the kick, which is typically the white kind of grayed out one, and then the red one, which is our 808. So anytime you're mixing, for instance, a kick in an 808, you gotta make the choice, which one do you want to hit harder, be more front, the 808 or the kick. I'm gonna remove some frequencies right here on my kick. But it is so helpful being able to see both of the spectrums overlaid on top of each other. So those are the main features that I think are pretty much the reasons to upgrade. I think these are, the features that we've looked at, the four or five we've checked out, I think they're incredible. I think they really do make the Pro Q3 a lot better than Pro Q2. Now, I haven't addressed this yet in the video, but this is not a paid promotion video. I am not, I didn't even get a free copy from FabFilter. So this is just, these are my own opinions on the plugin. I really do think this is a killer update for the Pro Q series. Now, there's a couple other features that I'm gonna just quickly list. I'm not gonna check out uh, in this video, but we do have, full surround sound support. So I don't do a lot of stuff in surround sound, so me showing that off would, wouldn't be authentic at all, but there's full surround sound support, Do, Do, Dolby Atmos, um, and uh, you have this nice little speaker selection, which is great. So for any of you guys out there who do surround sound, that's a huge benefit for sure. And you also have a couple new filter types, and we can check those out right now. So we'll go clean, and we'll click on this, and we'll click low shelf. So we have, a new flat tilt filter shape. So you can go and select flat tilt. So it's a pretty cool filter. This is a pretty musical sounding filter that you can use on, on groups and buses. And there's a lot of different uses for it, but that's a whole new filter. So those are the main new features that have been added to FabFilter Pro Q3. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys like this video, you wanna see more videos like it, please hit that like and subscribe button. So thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you next time.